Hello there, welcome to the latest edition of the podcast. Today I'm going to have a look at scenes. Uh, this podcast is entitled Writing Scenes. Well, get out there and experience scenes. So much creative writing is done within the confines of an office or a single room. Writers are often solitary creatures who conjure up their characters and locations before getting them down in print. The masters of the art transport you to their world and allow you to spend a few hours in it. Your visitors that can touch and watch but not have an influence on the proceedings. You have a front row seat to the beauty or mayhem that is about to happen. Literature is a wonderful thing and it makes the world a happier place, or my world at least. Have you ever wondered how a great writer gets those scenes just right? I know that I have. The perfect scene changes a piece of creative writing from ordinary to extraordinary. It takes you along with the characters and builds a bind that stays there for the rest of the book, often the rest of the series. A great scene will get your imagination going and allow you to become emotionally involved with the new world you've just entered. But writing a scene itself can be difficult. When you break it down, a novel is a series of scenes that have been crafted together to feel like a story. They have a common thread and flow into one. But break it down even further, and you more often than not have what can be viewed as scene after scene. Think about it in terms of a movie. Your novel should feel like the scenes flow, but also that each one is distinct. So to write a single scene, you need to live in the real world a little. The descriptions and imagery that you share with your readers should come from what experience you have in that real world. So I'm writing this book at the moment while I'm sitting in the park. So the following short scene comes into mind so it's just an intro from a scene sit down on the bench and immediately feel the tiny patter of rain on my uncovered head the weather has held out well so far but now seems to be the point where it changes i'm not the only one that's noticed it a squirrel runs for cover and the leaves rustle as he heads up a tree such a small creature making a big noise reminds me that the world around me is filled with life the breeze from my left reminds me the summer is leaving and autumn's on the way then into winter so there you go. There's just a few sentences there inspired by the world that I've sat around at the time I wrote this. These have come from experience in a real situation rather than just imagining one. The best writers will take inspiration from the world that they encounter and then adapt and develop that into a story that their audience will just love. Try adapting the above into something that might work in your story. So I've just had a play around with a few words. I've got a little sci-fi as an example. This isn't my genre, so don't judge me too harshly. Here goes. I sit down on the edge of my seat in the spacecraft and immediately feel the tiny patter of acid rain. The weather has held out well so far, but now seems to be the point where it changes. The rain will eat away all it touches. All that is except for my ship. It's been protected by acid roll. I'm not the only one that has noticed it. A moon wolf runs for cover and the leaves and the leaves and he leaves the food he had been hunting behind. She's ten foot tall and the ship rocks with her footsteps. Such a large creature making massive waves reminds me that the planet around me is filled with life. I must get out of here before I come pray. So I've been able to adapt the experience a little bit um, from the reality I was experiencing to something that might exist in a novel. So the location has changed, but I've used the, the experience I had. Uh, so let's have a look at some, some action points. Every writer I speak to wants to become better at what they do. This is a great way to develop your writing and engage your reach readers. Think about the following action points to develop your writing. Set out your novel as a series of scenes before you start to write. Don't go into too much detail. Uh, I'm still a believer in, in the, the fact that you, you let your imagination flow and you type as you, as you think. Um, but some idea of, of, of the scenes. Uh, personally, um, in the, the last novel I published, Initial, and the one I'm writing now, which is a sequel to it called Brutal, each chapter is a scene. So. I will stop a chapter at the end of the scene and move on to the next one. Uh, next action point, think about how you can experience real life situations that will match these scenes. Third one, go out and have these experiences, but remember to stay safe. And four, make any adaptations necessary that will make the scenes fit your novel. This will put you on the right track to have an engaging, creative writing that actually feels real to your reader. It will feel real, basically, because it is real, or at least your version of reality. I hope you got something out of this uh, and speak to you again soon. Thanks for your time. Bye now.